What is up guys, Austin Nerd Show here, back again with another My Morphin Collection episode, showing off some new Power Ranger figures that I've finally completed the whole set on. So it's another wave of the Legacy figures. It's um, pretty similar to the last set, um, so pull the Red Ranger here close. Um, we'll look at it much, them much closer in detail, but the, pretty much the only difference is with the Red, or not the Red Ranger, but the Rangers in general, is that they're now like a metallic collar, and they have their weapons. So in the um, last set, or the first set base set well, I don't know whichever you want to call it they didn't have their weapons so like the Red Ranger didn't have the power sword and stuff and so now it does and so as you can see it says ex um, includes exclusive weapon and these are a limited edition and so we have the whole set back here as you can see with all of their weapons and everything um, so that's pretty much the only reason I have a, um, <laughs> I got them again it's because they have all their weapons um, but so we'll go ahead and open each one of these and look at them individually there's not much to them like we've already if you've seen the first video it's all the same except this time they come with weapons and they're metallic but we'll go through each one of them and stuff so go ahead and start with the red one and then move on to the others Okay, so we got the Red Ranger out of the package here, so I just want to show some differences first before we go into it. So as you can see, the look of the skin, it, like I said, it's supposed to be metallic in the camera here. You probably can't see it very well, but um, you can kind of see his color difference. Well, here is the original, so you can kind of see the difference in their colors. So again, this was the one from the first set of wave, the first wave or whatever, of the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger set. And so this is the original Red Ranger, and here is the new metallic. So you can see the, that this one looks a lot darker and everything. And then it has the sword where this one only has the power blaster, or the blade blaster, and this one does too. And I have it left out here. It's going to be hard to see, like I said. But um, it's kind of metallic too, so they made all the weapons kind of metallic. So like the hand on the sword, which we'll pull out here in a second and show, it's like kind of like see-through-ish. That's what this is. It's kind of like a see-through metallic paint as well. But I just wanted to show you the Red Ranger here. Of course, I can't fit in the camera here to like go alongside just to show you the difference. And then this set also came with um, the Build-A-Figure of the Megazord here, which again, I can't fit all in the picture. But the Megazord... Um, as you can see if I can fit it in sideways here and this set doesn't come with anything so they kind of switched out the parts for the Megazord for the weapons and set so again here's the Red Ranger so you can see it fully there there's nothing special or really different to them besides the paint like I said um, it's like I said a darker uh, metallic and it's kind of clear in spots you maybe I'll see it on some of the other Rangers better but I'll go ahead and look at the um, power sword here if I can pull it out so of course we did a weapon or a video on this as well his weapon and but the actual like life-size sword that they made for the um, Mar Rangers legacy line and so here is the look at the sword so they put all the details so we have the power coin with the t-rex in there of course all the design and lights and everything and the handle here um, so the sword, actual sword that we got, the um, the replica thing, looks a lot like it's got all the detail of the sword and stuff there. And it's just, all this of course just doesn't light up and make noise like the replica does. But that's pretty cool. So that's, um, like I said, pretty much what this, um, the all these figures are, is that they're metallic and they come with the weapon. It would be cool if they were metallic and they had the... Um, coins from the Power Rangers movie so the Ninjetti coins but it doesn't so as you can see it's got the T-Rex on it there so they are the Mighty Mor original Mighty Morphin set and stuff but so there's the Red Ranger then next up we have the Pink Ranger here so of course Kimberly and stuff and as you can see she has the power bow and an arrow um, she does come with uh, a different hand so this hand here is the one I put on it it's kind of designed to be able to hold the arrow as you can see there it looks like she's kind of like pinching um, the thing she's doing like this and so the arrow part slides in between um, but she did have the regular hand which could probably also hold the arrow if you like position it right but it does come with the hand you can switch out to be able to hold the arrow it's still not very well I'm surprised it hasn't fallen out yet but again we have the bow and so here's also going to move her hand and there she drops it um, she I didn't bring I only brought the red one just to show you the color difference of that they're metallic and everything but um, again, the camera doesn't pick it up, but there's kind of a shininess to it to be the whole metallic thing. This one 
doesn't look as clear. Some of them look like clear in parts of me, but the, the Pink Ranger doesn't. But of course, she's got her helmet and all the stuff. We have the pterodactyl coin there. It's kind of hard to see. She does come with the blade blaster in the pocket there. And everything, so just like those. But then she has the power bow here, which I really like the design and stuff they put into it. So this is considered like the front normally here. Um, I'm surprised it doesn't really have the power coin. There is a little circle there that I assume maybe um, have the power coin in it. It's hard to see the design and stuff, but I, don't, I haven't like looked at a bow or the power bow close enough to see. Um, but there's the back of it with the pink. I like this side. I've always seen this side with the red, but I like the back with the pink. And then, of course, we have the arrow, the giant arrow, which has the pink uh, like tipping on it there. That looks really cool. So as I said, there's not going to be a whole lot to these because, like I said, we did a, a video on the Rangers before. And so you can go ahead and see that video if you want to see like a more in-depth detail look and coverage of them. Um, but I, I believe it's just the um, Power Rangers Legacy Mighty Morphin Power Ranger set or something. I forget what I even called it. But so there we have the Pink Ranger. Then next up we move on to the Yellow Ranger here. So again, this is Trini, the Yellow Ranger here. And she's the saber tooth, so you can kind of see by her head and the... Um, teeth coming out on the helmet stuff that she's kind of like a cat type thing so she has the two daggers which I meant to uh, mention this um, it doesn't really work but it's always the thing I've never like read that it is true or that it actually goes with the thing but I've noticed um, a lot of Power Rangers so like um, Power Rangers are usually assigned numbers and it's usually you know like how they're introduced and stuff like that and so she um, it goes along with their animal stuff so she's like number two and so she has you know the two teeth she has the two um Power saber or power daggers is what they're called. I don't remember what they're called. Um, and so it's, you know, she's number two. Uh, Kimberly's number one, I believe. I think that's right. And then, you know, it just moves on and stuff kind of. It's not a um, very good, like, theory or whatever, but it kind of works and stuff. Um, so here we have the Yellow Ranger. So she's the one that kind of looks see through a little um compared to the others maybe it's just the way the paint looks but it kind of looks like it's see-through at points but she's obviously like a um, shiny yellow the metallic here it's a darker yellow compared to the normal bright yellow that she is and everything but she does come with the power daggers which we'll look at she has the co um, coin there with the saber tooth on you can kind of see pretty well there and then of course the pa uh, blade blaster so go ahead and pull out one of the daggers here if i can get it out of her hand and look at it. So this is the dagger here. So obviously, you know, it can be like this. You know, it be like stab. It almost looks kind of like a uh, sigh, I believe they're called. Um, but he also uses, holds it upside down, you know, to dag and, or use as a dagger. Um, we have the saber tooth coin. So it does go straight up and down like that. I was trying to decide if it goes upside down. But you can kind of see it's like got the bent parts and stuff there. And of course, design like the sword did on it. And then we've got the handle and everything. So with the coin on both sides and everything. And so again, she has both of those that she can fight with and stuff. Um, it'd be cool if like if they how they're doing these Power Ranger movies, or they did the um, one over the summer this past year. Um, it'd be cool if they continue on with those, but actually give them like these weapons because they didn't have them. And so I want to see like these weapons and they actually like use them. So take them and like you know stab somebody with them, where in the old show they had them but never stabbed anybody or anything. But there's nothing much more than that. Again, she's metallic and has the power daggers there. Uh, but that's going to be it for the Yellow Ranger. And next up, here we have the Blue Ranger. So we have Billy the Triceratops. And so again, like he goes with the theory of the numbers of the number three. So he's got three. And so he's the number three person or whatever. Like, you know, when introduced and everything. And so that's, you know, just kind of a whole thing. Um, but here he has the Power Lance, I believe is what it's called. Um, so we'll look at that, obviously, uh, here in a second like we normally do. So again, he's got the metallic... Uh, paint so this one you can at least it kind of looks like you can see it better um, Just the paint it's just kind of got like a shininess and some sort of weird design into it to make it metallic You know usually they add uh, like glitter or something, but he doesn't really they don't really look like they have glitter and everything But here since we have Billy the Triceratops you can see the power coin there on his belt with the um, Triceratops on it. I don't know what I said for sure, but he's Triceratops. Got the blade blaster in the side there. And then, of course, as I said, we have the lance that we'll go and pull out of his hand. Let go of it, Billy. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, so the lance, um, usually 
Um, some toys that have this, they, it's usually not like this. It can go together, but usually splits right in the middle. But this one does not. Like, I kind of wish it did because I was going to separate it. So it has to stay in the, um, I guess this is maybe called the Lance form. I don't know. Sometimes he has it separate and has, you know, a part in two hands. Or it's sometime together in a whole, like, stick, kind of like a bow staff. So here's the up-close look at it. So again, we have the um, Triceratops power coin on it there. And then a look. It's kind of like a trident, almost. So this um, whole thing is looks kind of like a trident, make, uh, but it's double-ended, so it's kind of like a bow staff made with two blades on the end of it. But as I said, it's usually he does split it in two and have two different ones. So again, it's the same on each side. So we have the coin and then the blade and stuff, with again, with the little etchings and designs into it there to add more detail and everything. So there is the parallax to go along with the blue ranger so again there's not much more to add to that but so there we've got the blue ranger and last but not least here we have the black ranger zach so he's the mastodon so i believe in the line he'd be number four i believe um so he doesn't really fit besides mastodons have four legs where other things i don't know so he kind of doesn't fit the thing but he's the mastodon so that's why if you see the front here we have kind of like a trunk elephant trunk design we have tusk coming off the sides of the helmet and Zach's always one of my favorites so here we have the power coin which you can kind of see the mask on with the tuck, uh, tusk and everything going on there Ooh, you can kind of see the metallic paint on him let's look at his back here so there you can kind of see through it to see to the head joint and stuff but here in the back you can kind of see like all the glitter design and everything's kind of hard to see but with the lighting and everything but you can kind of see the glitter in there so this was probably the best representation of what I was talking about the whole time but here we of course have again the Mastodon power coin the blade blaster as usual and again these are all like a metallic let's see if we can see if I can pull it out probably not but these are like really see-through no you can you can kind of see they're kind of see-through but they also have the metallic design going onto them as well on the red parts and stuff but then he also comes with a power axe and so i always love this one this was one of my favorite weapons and stuff so there we have the mastodon on the power coin and of course he can use it as an axe like this to fight and then he could also use it as a gun like holding it like this which of course goes to the um power blaster they believe it's what it's called so usually um unfortunately i don't think this one does i do have a um, version of the old f uh, figures that do build it but usually put um like the bow up here and then the sword goes on top of it which again i wish it would you, you could build with this and then on the bottom of the bow you would stick the, like the power daggers and the power lines that separate it all together and it would just be this big giant gun that they would use um to fight with and everything would be cool if, i saw that it had like this little indention here and then this part here and so i thought oh maybe you can build it but then i realized you know the power bow doesn't have the slots to be able to um, stick the parts in but you can see how they are uh, kind of curved or indented in there so where you would stick the parts and everything um, but unfortunately you can't build it i wish they, they did that with this because um, like i said i do have the an, um, set of old figures from the original so back in the 90s or whatever and they all the weapons do go together building the power uh, blaster and so that'd be cool to have that but unfortunately it doesn't so we just have the X here for Zach and so that's all of the Rangers that there are there's uh, out of this set there are more coming out from the Power Rangers legacy line um, I believe there's a Zeo set which I'm super excited about a uh, no we did the space ones um, there's an alien weird sort of alien ranger set not like the alien rangers but like an evil alien rangers set coming out I know and then oh dino thunder is the other one so that would be cool too to get that and I can't wait to get all the more um, rangers stuff so as I said this set was kind of weird because I had of all the rangers you know in the normal like I said we got the red ranger and stuff we had the whole set to be able to build the uh, megazord here so we don't, didn't really need this, but they came with the weapons and they were metallic and stuff, so I thought they were cool. And I wanted to get them. But that's going to be it for this uh, Power Rangers Legacy line of the like exclusive version or limited edition. Um, it's not exclusive to any one place, I don't think, at least. Uh, but it's just the Legacy collection of all the Rangers here and, like I said, metallic with weapons and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know which fa Power Ranger is your favorite character out of the set. And don't forget to leave a subscribe to catch up all the, on all the videos. And we'll see you next time.